Okay, hello from the uh, Painted Panda. First, I do apologize. We, uh, I didn't do my normal introduction um, that I normally have for the Painting Panda because I wanted to do this video really quick. Um, we are now finally open. Um, Pierce County and Tacoma are in part of the phase two rollout. So now we are officially open at the Painting Panda. First, I want to say my name is Herschel Wilson. I'm co-owner of the Painting Panda Pottery Studio here in Tacoma. Uh, we are in Freight House Square. Um, one of the big things is is when you come to the Painted Panda, some things have definitely changed. Uh, obviously, when you come here, you're going to notice either myself or my wife, Noelle, will be here and we have to wear face coverings. It is required, so when you see us, we will be in uh, face covering. We also encourage you to wear face coverings as well. Will you come to the studio? Uh, here at the studio, I'm gonna turn this around and show you. We've done some painting, so the tables have changed, but we've been practicing social distancing. Uh, these tables are easy to be moved in any direction that we need to move them. We have it here where if there's a family uh, that comes in, um, there's four people or so or less, then they're able to sit together, obviously, because they're in the same household. This uh, group of tables have been moved this way because we've been painting the back wall, but same thing. But we also have plenty of space, so if you were to come in with someone, uh, you're able to sit here and still keep your distance from these other tables, right? Um, so that's one of the, the great things is we've been practicing social distancing even before <laughs> everything started. Um, just to give people space inside of the studio, uh, we're handling very fragile products, so we want to make sure that people have enough room to get around and move around. Uh, so we've been doing that for quite some time. One of the things is, is if you have been here before, what has changed is you're no longer able to just pick up your paint and go take it to the table and use it. What we want to do is slow down on the amount of people who are touching the same product uh, or the same pieces at the same time, the same paint bottles. So one of the ways to limit uh, all of the contact uh, is that you come up to the uh, register here and pardon the mess because we've been doing a lot of work back here. But you choose the color that you want on these color wheels which match and correspond with those colors over there. Uh, you write it down on a piece of paper and we actually put the paint in the palette for you. So what happens is, is that we're able to, we're the only ones touching that. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and so we try to make sure that uh, folks keep uh, as little uh, contact to common surfaces as much as possible. Paint brushes, uh, they're going to be on the table still. Um, but uh, the difference is, is once you're done with your paintbrush, we have a plastic bin where your paintbrushes will go. And you just drop them in there. And of course, at the end of the day, we take care of that. We sterilize uh, all of that. So if you go to our website, which is the uh, www.paintingpandapottery.com, uh, you will see a video where Noel was talking about how we sterilize uh, all of our uh, equipment and paintbrushes and different things like that. I will say that we have actually one of the new changes that we've done since we've done this uh, shutdown is that we have had our own uh, website. We had a placeholder before and now we've since upgraded to a actual website which is paintingpandapottery.com. You can go there, look over the website, get more details about the studio, and what we have to offer. You will see a samplage of some of the products that we do have. You're not going to see everything that's there, uh, but you're going to see a good idea of some of the things that we do have. Uh, with products in mind, we are getting a whole lot more product coming in um, that we had ordered prior to the shutdown, but it actually was on hold. So we will be getting that relatively soon. Now let me talk about the, the paint. We have been painting the walls. Noelle has actually done a great job. All of this here, all through there has been painted. She kind of started behind the register and worked her way over. So right now, as of uh, Monday, it's a little messy, but uh, 
the rest of the week we will start to get everything back the way it needs to go. The only area that we need to focus on right now is here. Before, a lot of the walls kind of looked like this. The uh, paint was not complete in many areas. And so we had to move in pretty quickly because we moved from one end of actually just two or three stalls over was where we were here in Freight House Square. So we moved over to this larger space. And so we had to do it quickly, and didn't have enough time to really go through and paint it. So now we're using that time to go through and paint everything. I will say another uh, key important piece here is we are currently open from Monday through Sunday, right? So our hours are Monday through Sunday and it's from 11 until five on Monday through Saturday. Sunday, we're open one to four. So definitely make sure you stop in. Those hours are subject to change, but right now we have a lot of people that still have to do pickups. And so we're wanting to make sure that we're available for them. And anyone that really has the time, they could definitely stop in and do what they need to do. If you don't have the time, we have kits to go. And uh, that is something new that we're offering. Kits to go were something that we were going to do uh, during the shutdown, but they actually lifted it before we were able to implement it. A lot of the products that we were trying to get were sold out. I think a lot of studios around the country were doing the exact same thing, but how it works is, is you come in and you pick a pottery piece or pieces, and um, you then choose six primary colors per piece. So uh, six colors that you really and truly want, we put those in a to-go container. You get six different containers per piece, and then you get a paintbrush. And so you choose which size paintbrush you want. Extra paintbrushes are a dollar. You get to keep those. You can throw them away or reuse them, whatever you want to do. Uh, you then bring the, you pay for it, obviously. You then bring the piece back whenever you are done. It doesn't matter if it takes you a week, a month, or whatever. You bring the piece back and then we fire it up and then when it's ready we will call you and tell you that it's ready for pickup so it's a really great option we're going to keep this uh, project uh, from now until forever um, we're going to have it where you can do the paint to go so therefore if you don't have the time or if you want to host a party at your own home or something like that this is a great option so that you don't even have to come into the studio you're able to just come in pick out the pieces that you want uh, and that's one of the reasons why on our website we have a lot of the different pieces so that you can see them and get an idea. Again, we don't have everything, obviously, but um, it gives you a general idea of what we do have. We have a lot of figurines as well. Uh, finally, the parking garage and inside of the freight house. Uh, right now, because there's no uh, classes at UWT, UWT students take up a lot of the parking spaces, but also workers downtown. Um, since right now the university is shut down as well as some offices are still shut down, there's a lot of space available right now in uh, Freight House Square, or actually in the parking garage. So parking is easy at this point. It hasn't been super challenging before, but it's really easy now. Uh, so just find your space. Now getting into Freight House, we have a lot of different doors to get into uh, Freight House, but those doors are now locked. When the quarantine was going on, basically they're able to shut down the rest of the building and keep the food court area open. So I'm gonna give you a general idea of where we are. Now we're in space 63. And you see these doors right here that says food court and retail shops and it's pointing that way. That door gets shut down. And then right up there you have a few shops in the middle and there's another door. That door can get shut down. So they can shut down every door, those big giant doors, and there's no way for you to get in. But there's also doors leading from the outside in. All of those doors are shut down as well. Um, so this whole area was closed. The only place that was open were the food courts. Now the interior doors are open, but the exterior doors are still closed. The only way to get into the building at this point is through the food court, which is at the very, again, way down there you might can see some of the tables and chairs way way down there uh, that's how you get in and then you walk all the way down here you'll see the Bigfoot which is right there and that lets you know that you're getting close to space 63 
So anyhow, hope that you guys uh, will come uh, give us a visit. We've been doing a lot of things behind the scenes. We've been working with a lot of different uh, projects and things like that since we have been shut down. And uh, there's more to come. So thank you so much for watching this video. And we hope to see you at the Painting Panda Pottery Studio very soon. Take care.